Hi, Paul. Thanks for joining us again. You're welcome. So next on the menu is the, well, we're going to talk loosely about, well, largely about the Protect range, which was first introduced, now was it a year or two ago now, back in the days when we actually attended trade shows. And the first time we got our hands on these was actually a little, well, late last year when um, Tom Ripley reviewed the Swift Protect and he really got on with it from the perspective of someone who was guiding because it offered both single rope, half rope and double rope, that triple rating that you could use with clients just in the knowledge that if it ran over a sharp edge, then um, yeah, his clients were safe. So that's rolling out to, I know, other models, but tell us a bit more about it. Yeah, so you, you're absolutely right. Thank, thank you for that, Rob. It, it, it really, the motivation with the protect technology from Edelrid in the research that they've they've undertaken both in climbing and mountaineering and also in the working uh, environment the the main thing that would cause a rope to 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 become damaged or to to break in fact would be a sharp edge that would cut the rope so with that in mind they were looking to add some safety value to the rope range and what they actually came up with what we call protect technology we're introducing um, aramid fibers into the sheath of the rope and they give it the extra sharp edge resistance that you need and the other crucial thing that we had to kind of invent really was a machine and a methodology to be able to test what was going on and in fact what we ended up with was a, a rope loaded with weight over a sharp tungsten carbide um like a cutting blade and what we do is we set the blade going and then we just measure the distance before the rope breaks and then what that allowed us to do was have the consistency and then just try different rope diameters different types of rope construction and that's what really then enabled us to come up with the protect technology where we've introduced um uh, quite often a thicker sheath aramid fibers into the sheath and a special construction as well and the styling that you've already tested and reviewed was the beginning point of that yes i think because i I thought it was the styling that we're about to talk about the one we have reviewed reviewed the uh swift so that's 8.9 mil isn't it that's correct that's the triple rated one so the styling which you just alluded to is the sort of trad i mean I, i can't wait as soon as i saw these paul I immediately shotgunned the review because one, Edel Rib Ropes are great, but here's like a really cool tech story that not only makes, well, it makes the rope safer, it's pure and simple, isn't it? And and yet does that within a relatively slender package. Well, I, I yeah, I agree. And as soon as I saw this, I, similar to you, we, you know, with my trad climbing background and the kind of the heritage of climbing in the UK, um, you know, which we've, we all, we enjoy and love. Um, so adding the protect technology into an 8.2 millimeter rope. So that's a skinny rope. It's 42 grams a meter. So it's, uh, you know, it's absolutely in that lightweight category, you know, and, and I think it, where we can have uh, thinner ropes, it runs better through the equipment, it runs better up the rock and we're saving weight as well. So the crucial thing with that is, and, and, the, and the bit that giving, giving us the confidence that we've got a still a very safe and enhanced safety um, is with the aramid fiber and the special construction and the 42% sheath proportion, you, you know, it gives giving the best of everything. So we've got the lightweight, easy to clip, easy to lift up, um, works super good in the belay devices and, um, you know, the extra confidence that um, on a sharp edge or rubbing over rock, we've got the durability that obviously we demand from a rope as well. I mean, it's amazing because obviously, you know, when I started climbing, I think everyone with half ropes was primarily using, I probably came in at the time when nine mil was changing to like eight and a half mil as the sort of standard. And it seems like now... (laughs) Now it's actually going below eight and a half mil is becoming more of the norm. But the sacrifice you have to make with that is going to be the durability. And here you've got a neat solution that allows an 8.2 mil rope to be, well, not just as durable, but actually harder wearing than, 
well, likely a lot of eight and a half or even nine mils on the market. Yeah, I, 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 absolutely. I mean, and the other thing as well, that was just a couple of things um, specifically. So the thermoshield treatment that we use on all Edelrid um, ropes, which is a final heat treatment at the end of the construction process where the rope runs through a heat channel and that harmonizes the sheath and the core together. And that is a key thing for Edelrid that gives us our good handling characteristics, but yet good durability and abrasion resistance. Say. Um, it is a pro dry um, treated rope as well. So it will absorb less than 2% of water. So in a winter uh, mountaineering situation, perfectly good rope for that as well. So it really, really is a great um, all rounder. And the other thing I will just mention, and I'll, I'll just show again the, the, the full swift because I've got the full rope here. All our ropes now come with the 3D lap coil. So, and the idea with that is it's coiled in a particular way that allows you to just drop the rope on, on the floor as new and then you just pull it straight out and you're ready to climb with it there's no need to kind of run it through your hands backwards and forwards several times like we used to have to do really back in the day i tested that out actually with the swift i think it was the eco drive i reviewed a couple of years ago now and um it's a really easy system and as someone who's also had the opposite effect of one that's bound and accidentally thrown that down on the floor and spent the next hour trying to sort out this spaghetti tangle of rope. It's a really simple system of just pull it where it says to pull it and it all comes through fine. You could take it to the crag, pop it down and use it like a normal rope without, well, even, I mean, it, you know, it's amazingly kink free. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you're right. And I've been there as well with the new rope and, you know, you really, you know, the first thing with any new rope back in the day was used to take it home, tr try to uncoil it carefully and not drop it into the uh, spaghetti yeah. and would, uh, get I it ready say, for using. I would say you only do it once, Paul, but I think I've done it more than <laughs> several times within my life. You and, do uh, need to get it wrong and then you do regret it every time. But uh, yeah, so I mean, I know, I know it kind of seems like a small thing, but actually it is really, really important. And, um, but yeah, Starling, and also it's in two very good, a uh, yellow and blue, so really distinctive, uh, two different colours, which of course is important for uh, for double double it, rope. Uh, easy to shout when you're having some form of mild panic attack halfway up a route in Pembroke. Absolutely, absolutely. So Starling Protect Pro Dry, 8.2 millimetre. Um, yeah, I'll look forward again on that one to, to hear I, your feedback and comments. I'm looking forward to it on several levels, not least because it will give me an excuse to go out climbing for work. Fantastic. We love it. Brilliant. Thanks, Paul. That's great. Really looking forward to seeing the Starling and using the Protect. Thank you, Rob. Cheers.